Good evening. In this video, I'll discuss about how to apply a structural breakpoint test and that is Chow test. I have data set of sales of outlet. If I click on this, I find various observations starting from 2001 to 2017. If I click on this time series plot, then I can find uh, from 2000 to 2013 it is uh, a slight increasing trend but uh, from 2013 onwards it is a kind of uh, jump so you can say there is possibility of uh, a structural break point but it can be determined with the help of Chow test so let's do this Chow breakpoint test. First and foremost, we have to create a variable of time trend with the help of going to add, then click on time trend. We find another variable that is of time trend. Then let's go to model, click on ordinary list square, and then select sales of outlet and click here independent variable then again click on time and bring it as regression and then click on ok this is all about uh, our regression result if you see it is mentioned that time is significant variable then let's go to tests click on chow test it says in which observation you want to split so i click on 2013 because we have observed from graph that up to 2013 it is a kind of similar trend and from 2013 onwards there was a jump so click on ok if you click on ok you find outcome of chow test for a structural break at observation 2013 it says p value is less than 5% so what is null hypothesis in this case null hypothesis in this case is there is no structural breakpoint we can write here there is no structural breakpoint but when you see the result p value is less than 5% it means this null hypothesis is rejected when this null hypothesis is rejected we can say that there is a structural breakpoint so that is all about how to check a structural breakpoint with the help of chow test i hope you like it thank you very much